Yo, look at that. Oh yeah. So this is where the seats are gonna go. And we brought this backside here so we can install seats. It's kind of huge. Yeah, it is. And of course there will be uh, the sidewalls. Yeah, with this, this is not even the complete si size. All right, we are just taking the seats apart. We got the first officer seat and next up is just the captain seat here. Yeah, and as you saw from the video from past, uh, it was quite packed here. Yeah. So now we got a lot of space to work with. Yeah, that's the main instrument panel. We might get that uh, in the new, uh, new simulator just yeah. to test fit it, but... It's quite bent, <laughs> but... All right, we got the seats in both of them and we are just taking out these um, old um, rail mechanisms yeah. and then we're gonna just have them sit here. We don't need the rails for now. Just yeah. go ahead and take them out. Alright, we, we just finished uh, shortening these um, these legs on the chair because the chair is too tall for this. So we just cut them off and now we should have a shorter chair. Let's go ahead and try it. Yeah. Take a look at that. How cool is that? We got the seats from the simulator, from the first simulator, and we also put the pedal uh, in just for fun. We have the throttle quadrant that is also from the first simulator, 100% custom made. Um, now all combined, it looks really cool. We have the two screens. The real thing will have three or five, but we can't fit more in this space. So we have two. And it looks so much more finished when you look at it like this. Like just, just that looks so cool. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, start configuring this thing in mobile flight, and we should be looking at the test flight really, really soon. Yo, we got some of the uh, mobile flight working finally. Um, <laughs> I don't know which way we are. Oh no, probably we are right way. Flying in IFR conditions <laughs> without <laughs> instruments. So uh, I hope that. Can you break break the clouds soon? Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So I don't. Do you you have it? Oh yeah, my god! Nice. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you can this see. It's kind of fun to fly. Yeah. Do some banking so we can actually see that things. Yeah. There we go. We do have the rudders also, do a little rudder movement. Yeah. There you can see the rudder in action. <laughs> oh no. Nice. We ended up using X-Plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> because we had major problems with um, Minecraft Flight Simulator 2020, so... We are now flying X-Plane 12. It's, it's fine. The graphics are that aren't as nice, but or the, aren't as nice as my yeah. simulator would have been. But it's they, good. They will do. It's fine. Oh yeah. All right. About the land. Yeah, it's about the uh, shitty one. Probably. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's nice to hear that. One. We don't have any throttle control, so it's very unstable approach, but let's see. Oh, nice. And max toe braking. And we should be stopping. That's it, that was pretty good. It was very good for what we have working in here right now. First landing in the version 2, 737 simulator. On to more configuration.
So that's it for this shorter episode today about the test flight. Thank you so much for watching and we are already hard at work with the main instrument panel and glare shield. So that's going to be what we'll prove with the, uh, the next video. And we are also going to be doing some mobile flight tutorials on Explain 12 since there's not a lot of them out there. So if you are interested in those, definitely go ahead and tell us what you would want to uh, hear about to us talk and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Thank you and goodbye.